Hello, my name is Iman Marklin and welcome to the LYBM Online Bible Study. This is an online community from women all over the world to come together to connect to God by studying His Word and grow spiritually together. So I invite you, don't just watch the video, come and hang out in the comments section, share your name, where you're watching from, and what God is speaking to your heart. This is such a great community that we're able to build, and I pray that it continues to grow as we study the Word and bear the fruit of our study. So we are talking about heart and soil, and today we are going to talk about guarding the heart. And so the scripture reference for today is Proverbs 4, 23. And it says to keep your heart with all diligence for out of it springs the issues of life. And when we talk about guarding the heart, I think it's very important that we know that guarding your heart is not about being a wall builder to keep evil out or bad things out, but it's about being a gardener. It is about keeping watch. And really, if you look at, you know, you really study that word keep, it's talking about being a watchman, being someone who is attentive to what's going on in the surroundings of the area and being watchful of what's coming in and what's going out. So we are not to be wall builders. We are to be watchmen and we are to be gardeners because I believe like we're talking about in this study, that the heart is the soil of our lives. That's what the Lord talked about in the parable of the sower in Mark 4. And so when we look at Proverbs 4.23, we're seeing that it is our responsibility within our lives to keep our hearts with all diligence. We are to be fervent watchmen of our heart, what's coming in and what is coming out. Because it says we must keep our hearts with all diligence because out of our hearts come the issues of life. And so we have to be mindful of how every day seeds are being planted in the soil of our hearts. Every single day, whether it be a negative word or a positive word, a great experience or a negative experience, it is like seed being planted in our heart. And we as the gardeners of our heart must uproot the negative seeds so that they don't grow a root of bitterness, but water those positive seeds, those great seeds. And so what does it look like to guard your heart? As I said earlier, it's about being a watchman. It's about being attentive to what it is that's coming your way in your heart. So one practical thing you could do is assess your social media. Look at the accounts that are feeding you on your Instagram feed, on your Twitter, on your Facebook, through your YouTube account. Who is feeding you? What what are you what are you taking in throughout the day? And there may be some people, some accounts really that you'll have to unfollow because you realize this account is not putting the correct seed into my life. It is not helping me to grow spiritually and to connect to God. And that's not saying everybody you follow has to be a Christian or has to be a Bible teacher. It's nothing wrong with following, you know, fashion accounts and food accounts and all the fun things that, you know, we as women enjoy looking at. Uh, but just be mindful. Be a watchman and not a wall builder in this season with your heart. Keep your heart. Be that watchman and be attentive to those shows and to, the, to all the things and the voices that are coming in. You know, and it also, it comes down to relationships as well. Assess the relationships in your life. Who's feeding your heart? Are these relationships bearing good fruit? Are they causing great things to come from your heart? Or are they planting negative seeds, seeds of doubt, seeds of fear, seeds of compromise, seeds that are not bearing the fruit that you want? And ask and pray the Lord, pray and <laughs> ask the Lord of how to help you with what to do with those relationships and how to take that step back. And you know, I really, honestly, I'm not a firm believer in cutting off relationships. I think that it's important for us to maybe take a step back or take some time, but really God has called us to be fruitful in relationship. And so pray about those relationships in your life that may be, you know, planting some seeds in your life that are not good and ask God how to walk forward in those relationships with sensitivity, with care, with spiritual maturity, and with love 
as a foundation, okay? Um, also, we can see in 1 John 1, 9, it says your heart is the center of your belief and love. That's some notes that I wrote down. Your heart is the center of your belief and your love. 1 John 1, 9 tells us that when we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that Jesus is Lord. So think about how incredible that is. The heart is the place of our belief. It is a place where we receive the love of God and we give the love of God. Where we believe in God and then we become a new creation because of our belief in our hearts. And so if our heart is that influential in our lives, like it tells us in Proverbs 4, verse 23, and also in 1 John 1, 9, wow, wouldn't the enemy want to come and plant seeds of doubts in our heart and plant negative things in our hearts so that we would grow a root of bitterness? But as the watchmen and the gardeners, we've got to know, you know what? I'm attentive to what's coming into my heart today. I'm not going to allow the negative situation or this negative thing that's come to grow down a root. I'm going to take it, handle it, pray about it, release it to God. And the seeds of the word, I'm going to water them. I'm going to pray over them. I'm going to ask the Lord to help those seeds to bear fruit. Amen. Um, also, I love in Proverbs 23, 7, it says, As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Whatever we think about ourselves in our heart, that's what we are. And so this week, I challenge you and I challenge myself. Let's think about what we're thinking about about ourselves. How are you thinking about yourself? It's affecting who you are. Ask the Lord to show you what negative thought patterns and lies that you're believing and thinking and meditating on in your heart that's becoming your reality. And switch the playback. Change the playback in your heart and in your mind to being the word of God. So that when what it is that you're thinking in your heart becomes what you are. So if you're thinking about the word, you're thinking about what God says about you, you're not worried about the opinions of people, but making the opinion of God your ultimate priority, that's going to help you become all that God has called you to be. And lastly, there's a scripture that says, where your treasure, it, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And just thinking about where we invest our time, our money, our, our lives, that's where our heart is going to be. And so if we want our hearts to be in great things, in positive things, then we've got to spend that time putting treasure into where we want our heart to be. So if you want your heart to be in your home, allow your treasure, your time, your money to be invested in your home so that your heart will be there also. If you want to bear fruit and you want your heart to be strong in your studies, put your treasure in it. Put your time into it. Put your money into it. Invest in the place where you want your heart to be. Amen. I believe that that is so important. So I don't want this study to be too long, but I know I've given you some great scriptures today with Proverbs 4.23, also 1 John 1.9, Proverbs 23.7. So many great scriptures that we have to look to through the word to assess our hearts. And so again, my challenge through the word today is that we would not be wall builders of our hearts, but that we would be watchmen and gardeners of our hearts and that we would keep our hearts with all diligence, knowing that out of our hearts flow the issues of our life because your future is not ahead of you, it's inside of you, released from within every single day. And it's coming from the soil of your heart. Let me pray right now. God, I thank you so much for every woman who is watching the LYBM Bible study today. I pray, Lord, that you would help us to assess our hearts and our lives and help us to be watchmen and gardeners. Help us to water the good soil and uproot the negative roots. Help us to be watchmen and not wall builders. The areas in our heart that are, that are hard, give us that heart of flesh. Help us to walk in forgiveness and to walk in love and to assess those areas that need change in our hearts. And help us to do what it is that you've called us to do as it regards to being the keepers of our hearts. I thank you for every woman that's watching. Would you bless her? Keep her, strengthen her, allow her to go into this week strong, victorious, thinking in her heart well, and putting her treasure into the places where she wants her heart to be. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Thank you so much for watching the study. For more information on Leave Your Beauty Mark, you can visit leaveyourbeautymark.com and also follow us along on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, but mainly on Instagram because that's where we're at a lot. And the uh, tag for that is at Leave Your Beauty Mark. And thank you so much for watching this LYBM online Bible study. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.